anybody in the agency world or creative world will say you can never have all three things together <laughs> cheap, cheap fast. good and fast <laughs> and also i think uh, it's not ai replacing people but ai will surely replace people without ai knowledge right yes SaaS is the right way to go for continuous service improvement the world of ai is moving so fast that we are in a very exciting phase because it's a big bang moment now and for the next five years, 10 years, the workflow will be very different from even now. It's very important for you to be hands-on to try all these new AI tools, right? It's no longer coming, it is ready here, mm. right? So you must adapt to it. Hi everyone, welcome to IdeaWorks Mac Impact, where we dig deeper inside the mind of creators and the becoming of their impact. Meet our host, Arianta Bigman, the CEO of IdeaWorks. And today we are honored to have Mr. Warren Leo, Group CEO at InMajid. Morning, Warren. Good morning, Pari. <laughs> so how are you today? Very well. You know, thank you so much for hosting me on the show. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Anyway, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you here. We want to know more about your technology in terms of a uh, creative workflow and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, maybe you can start with introducing your company first. Okay, so my name is Warren. I am the group CEO for Imagine. Imagine is a global creative ecosystem. Uh, we have many brands, but the, the three main brands that we have are One Two Three RF, Pixlr, and Design Stock AI. Satu Dua Tiga RF is uh, a top five stock content marketplace. So we sell images, we sell uh, footage files, we sell audio files, we sell fonts. Pixlr is the world's uh, most popular online web-based photo editor. Pixlr. Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. So for anybody who is from, uh, you know, the older generation like me, right? <laughs> or like Pa'ari also, right? Uh, you might have come across Pixlr uh, during the days of Flash. Zaman Flash, right? So uh, it was the OG editor. So we bought from uh, Autodesk, we got it rebuilt in HTML5 and it's now more AI empowered. Mm. And then we have another tool called designs.ai, right? Designs.ai uses AI for content creation, logos, videos, um, text, copy. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, given uh, the fact that we have a lot more uh, things happening in the AI space over the past six months. So we've been embedding across all our mm. products. Um, so actually about this era, right? AI is everywhere. And how long have you been developing this AI and how long have you been releasing it to the market? Okay, so we have been doing research in um, into the possibilities of AI over the past three or four years. Mm, three right? or four years. Three or four years with machine learning. Because if you think about it, let's say something like one to three RF, we have uh, 200 million content. Mm. So we needed to use AI to improve on the search algorithm uh, and to make use of our one billion search points every single year. But I think the, the main uh, thing about what we're seeing in AI is a lot of things have been happening over the past six months, yeah, seven correct, months. Correct, correct. Right. The, uh, when the mainstream market hits it, yeah. When the mainstream yeah. market hits it or when it reaches a critical mass mm. of being good enough. Mm -hmm. Because text to image generation right, has been around for maybe three, four years, but it was not good enough yet to be used. Mm -hmm. right? So it has become more mainstream because everybody finds it easy to use. Mm. And everybody f understands what it means for productivity. So to answer your question, we've been researching over the past three or four years, but it's only in the last, I would say, three to four months we've started introducing more across all of our products. Mm, good, good. Uh, and talking about the products and also the market, right? How you see Asian market, Southeast Asian market emerging towards this AI and also your services? Right, okay. In the past, um, you know, anybody in the agency world or creative world would say you can never have all three things together. <laughs> cheap, cheap fast. good, and fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheap, good, and fast. You can only choose two, yeah? You can only choose two, <laughs> right? But now, you can balance it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because you can do more, you can do things faster, you can do things more accurately. Right? So, when, when it's easy to understand that concept, uh, even here uh, in Asia, we will understand, look, this means that my team can do more value-added mm. stuff the basic work can be automated. Mm. Like banner resizing, all the designers, they hate yep, yep, yep. it, right? Because you spend so much time, right? 
uh, try to find the right picture like cherry gamba pun susah yeah, yeah, right yeah. Uh, try to uh, create many storyboards the reason why you only create one storyboard or two storyboards per pitch is because it takes so long to create yep, yep. but if you can create different ones and you understand what the client needs then you waste less time uh, for me you know it's mainstream because people understand the need people understand how useful it is people understand how powerful it is mm. Maybe uh, in maybe in Western market, right? Apart from Asia, they are more tech savvy. But uh, it's just about time when SMBs in Indonesia are using your service as well, yeah. Yeah, yes. because uh, they have the needs, and also AI provides a better and faster solution as well. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. But is there any like particular ethical aspects of AI that you might consider? Our philosophy at Imagine is number one. We want to make sure uh, we are there to be able to uh, balance uh, and also um, empower mm. empower uh, people who are doing marketing, people who are doing creative work, people who are also communicating, mm. right? Because uh, it's just a way to 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 make it more accessible for everyone. Yep, right? yep, yep. So that's one thing. Second thing is uh, making sure you know we we still help to preserve the copyright the. The, the 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 value of the work where we can, but one thing to be clear, the the value of content is shifting, mm. right? So content is getting cheaper and cheaper. So the value add is also shifting away from content and more about the servicing, mm. more about the rights management, more about uh, full end to end campaigns. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and I think. Uh, the balance between ethical versus the professional workforce is there, right? I mean, we can use AI to do the conceptual thinking, the ideation, yes. but to refine all the products, all the yeah finished products, we still need the human as well. Yes, yeah. right. So, uh, uh, number one, you need the human to provide the direction, mm. what to prompt, how to use the tools. You need to, to have the human to be the juru pandur, Right, mm -hmm. the, the the engineer, yep, yep. right, or the architect. Uh, you also need to have be have the human to do the quality control, right? To understand human empathy, client yep. empathy, customer empathy for the user experience, yeah? mm -hmm. and then you need the human to interpret how to actually change it into the right campaigns, how to use it into, how to use it as a way to, to touch and resonate mm -hmm. in terms of messaging, yeah, and adapt accordingly. Yeah, thank you. And also, I think uh, it's not AI replacing people, but AI will surely replace people without AI knowledge, right? Yes, for sure. Yeah, which so. is why you know, uh, in all the countries, even emerging countries like ours, right? Look at Indonesia. You look at uh, Malaysia, right? Um, uh, we need to lobby. We need to influence government policy mm. so that the education system can be adapted and changed very quickly. Mm. Because the pace of change is moving so fast, right? yep, yep. we need to make sure the digital divide is reduced. Mm. Everybody knows how to use. Uh, we have the fundamentals, but they also have the tools to be um, uh, even more productive in the white collar environment going forward. Yeah, yeah, correct. So, uh, what is your take on SaaS? I mean, uh, software as a service, yeah. Uh, especially for Indonesian market world. Okay. Can you explore? So I, I think, you know, basically people always say, okay, uh, developing markets, right? Or the, the perception, the narrative mm. is uh, Indonesia is poor. Indonesians will never pay for SaaS. Mm. I disagree, mm. right? Because their businesses, even small businesses or freelancers will pay for SaaS if they see the value in it. Mm -hmm. What I mean by the value in it is the number one, does it help them to make more money? Mm, yep, yep. All right? If you spend like tiga juta rupiah for subscription because it helps to make 15 juta, right? 15 million uh, uh, rupiah, then uh, it's it's a no brainer decision. <laughs> yeah, correct. Right? Because it helps you make more money, right? It helps you reduce the time that's required. It helps you save 30% of the time so that you can do other things so that you can bring your kids out. And when you can save that kind of time or you can save that kind of money or you can make more money, it's very easy for you to quantify. Should I pay for this or should I not pay for it? Mm. So I think, um, well, I disagree with the notion that you know uh, people won't pay for it. Mm. The question is more about finding the right tools to fit that use case. Mm. 
But I also understand, you know, let's say for example, uh, uh, many of the, the SaaS companies that target the warungs oh. and the small tokos, yeah, yeah, yeah. they've been struggling to find a profitable way to, mm. to, 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 to find a model yeah. that works, mm. right? Uh, but for me, you know, it's, it's about finding the right uh, use case and the product market fit. Mm. Correct, correct. Right? Different ways of selling. But, mm. but I do think that, you know, uh, going forward, uh, because it's not um, a one-off relationship, mm-hmm. right? SaaS is the right way to go for continuous service improvement and yeah. access. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, well, apart from that, uh, how can we see actually SaaS and also AI uh, benefited the workforce, especially the younger one? Okay. For me, SaaS is just uh, a business model. Mm. But the fundamental thing is software. Right, software and AI, right? Whether it's SaaS or whether it's a one-off licensing fee, all right, or enterprise, all right. Uh, so that is to me is just a business model, a way to charge, right? Uh, but I think the more important is to look at software and also AI, mm. which both are also gonna uh, intertwine together, mm. bersama sama, mm. right? So how does it add value to the workforce? I think it's more about does it make your life easier? Mm-hmm. Does it allow you to do things smarter, faster, easier? Mm-hmm. That's a mantra lah at mm-hmm. Imagine, right? Lebih cepat, lebih cekat, lebih cermat. Okay, <laughs> alright. So, so, so. So you have everything, yeah. We have ev- <laughs> everything within, yeah. right? In the ecosystem, right? The key things. Does it help you save time? Yeah. Does it help you serve the customers better? Because at the end of it, whether it's your business or my business, Pakari, right? Any business needs to earn the right to exist. Mm. Right. So doing a business may be competitive. Yeah, right? yeah. So the, the key thing is, you know, how to be most efficient, how to be most, most accurate, how to give the most value at. Mm. So software and AI are just tools for our people to be able to fulfill the needs of the market. Anyway, uh, is there any like specific challenge that you see towards developing your AI? Right now, the world of AI is moving so fast that we are in a very exciting phase. Whether it's in uh, my my line of work where we create tools and platforms for creative professionals, right, or um, your line of work in the agency space, right, because it's a big bang moment. You have new tools, new businesses, new workflows, mm. right. Thirty uh, years ago, when people first start off with agents, they need to cut, they need yeah, to paste, yeah, tampal, yeah. tampal, right, mm. and then show. And then after that, you have the digital tools. Mm. Right, um, and then you know, for some of the younger uh, members in the team, um, they, yeah, there's no paper collage anymore, or montage yeah, yeah, anymore, yeah, yeah. right? So it's it's all digital. But going forward, now and for the next five years, ten years, the workflow will be very different from mm. even now or twenty years ago. Mm. Like we are developing tools where you can sketch, and then very quickly you get a storyboard, mm. right? And then it's filled up with the right team. Mm. And then you show the client, right? Okay, versi A, you suka atau tak suka? Oh, saya, saya tak bisa, uh, tak suka, <laughs> right? So, okay, then versi B, very quickly you can generate. Mm. So, the yeah, workflow yeah. and the communication, the, the increase in efficiency uh, will be very evident. Mm. Be, it is coming, right? It's ready here. It will only get better over the next five years, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. And I think uh, AI search is, uh, I've seen your demo, so it's uh, impressive. Impressive, and uh, what do you say about this AI search for our work, like the creative work, uh, can do better? I mean, they, uh, what, what does it do actually? Okay. In terms of uh, AI search, yeah. Okay. So simple example, right? A typical agency or marketing department or communications department, right? Uh, what I hear as feedback lah, is it takes a long while to find the right content. Hmm. So for a particular campaign, you want to find 30 images for your campaign. Sometimes it takes two or three days hmm. right, uh, to get approved, right? Because hmm. uh, it's hard to hmm. find Indonesian faces. Hmm. It's hard to find them doing specific activities. It's hard to find them doing certain teams, right? So how we try to reduce it from two or three days to five minutes, hmm. 10 minutes, 15 minutes is number one, search accuracy, hmm. right? When you type in, you get what you need. Yep, yep. The reason why Google is better than Yahoo Right? or even Bing, mm. right? It's because Google has the fastest search, yeah. the, less, the least friction point. So that's, that's what we're doing, right? to find across hundreds of millions of content that we have. Mm. So better search to reduce the time and frustration. 
Yeah. Second thing is once you find it, but you realize, oh yeah, you want the hair to be different, you want the the T-shirt to be a bit different, right? How can we uh, help you make these simple changes very quickly, mm. again to save time, right? So um, that's how we we uh, it's all about empowering mm-hmm. uh, creatives to save time, doing basic things that which in theory shouldn't take that much time. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Thank you, okay. thank you for the insight and. Uh, all the stuff that you share to us. Uh, is there any like uh, message for the creative people related to Imagine and its ecosystem? Okay, so my my advice, my petua to to uh, anybody who's <laughs> listening to 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 uh, my podcast uh, uh, with Pak Ali over here is, if you're a creative person, um, it's very important for you to be hands on to try all these new AI tools, because it will change the workflow. It will change the industry. Mm-hmm. It will change the expectations and how you need to adapt accordingly. It is here, right? It's no longer coming. It is ready here, mm-hmm. right? So you must adapt to it because otherwise you stand a chance of really getting disrupted, mm-hmm. right? Nobody wants to be replaced by machines, yep. right? Um, uh, so it's important to upskill ourselves and stay relevant, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and in order to 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 be adaptable and and be able to service. Uh, the client and market requirements. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Pak Ari.